Hi, my name is Corey Mayo, licensed realtor with Monument Sotheby's, and welcome to Who's in the House, your podcast for everything coastal Delaware. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you're updated every time I upload new podcasts or videos. And if at any time you have questions, feel free to email us at info at who's in the house, D-E as in Delaware.com. You can also call or text 302 466 Five five one one. Now sit back and enjoy this episode of Who's in the House. So you did. Oh, Marsh, Miralon, and Arbor. That's awesome. It was pretty crazy. Congratulations. Thank that's you. A, that's a good one. It was and, very cool. And, and that's why we need to have Frank on. Yeah. Frank on. Mm-hmm. To come in to the, uh, to the to the podcast, so we can do, do, do Maryland talk about Maryland. So that's next. Yeah, yeah. So so we're gonna. But in the meantime, our Berlin. So yes. You're back. Thank you. Thank you for coming on for March Island. That was a blast. We had a, a really good podcast with that, and so uh, fun, and good results from it. You know, I've got a lot, I got a lot of calls from it, and obviously you got some calls in the sale from it, which is yep. you know the whole purpose is to help educate people that are watching this as to the different communities and what's going out there. So our Berlin is our hot topic. Um, yes. Our Rehoboth community, left for Lewis, right for Rehoboth. That's right. I'll put a link here on that for uh, for Frank and <laughs> Ali's video on left, a whole series actually. Oh gosh, yes. Which is super funny. Super, you know, very fun and very cool. Um, but Arborlin is a community located in in uh, Rehoboth, mm-hmm. just I don't know, like a couple hundred yards, or I guess maybe like five hundred yards off of Route One. Yeah, right, yep. b- right behind where the Walmart is. Yep. Um, great location, almost not quite dead center, but almost between center between uh, Rehoboth and Lewis. Yep. Um, which is great because you have the the ability to use back roads to get to the beach for Lewis if you want to go to yes. Cape Hill and State Park. Um, great amenities, floor plans, coastal cottage series, and are there any easy living or is it just coastal cottage series? Just the coastal cottage series. Yep. So great floor plans, similar floor plans that you would see in governors, which is just, you know, was setting the world on fire as far as, you know, you know, number of properties that are there and and sell through. So, um, and this is, and correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, is this a little bit of a similar kind of concept to governors on just on the west side of route one or is this kind of was that just an assumption that i made i mean i think you could look at it that way definitely because it has similar floor plans the layout is you know with the spacing between the homes yeah it does have a similar vibe different amenities yeah and of true. course location like yeah. you said but i can see why someone would think they're they're very similar the nice thing though you know with this you know, but you know, uh, apart from governors, outside of the price, obviously we have a better price point. Yes. But when you're in governors, you're 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 Lewis bound. You know, you know, without exactly, you know, you're stuck to get on the Route One and, mm-hmm. and fight through traffic or deal with traffic on Route One. Yeah. Um, to get to either to go north or south. Yeah. Whereas this being on the west side of Route One, you have access to go inland if you need to get into. You know, go to BJ's or whatever on the 113, yep. um, but also to use back roads to kind of continue down one way or the other. Use Airport Road to get farther get down. Part, <laughs> yeah, part of the way. A exactly. bit. It makes a big difference. It does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we were just talking when uh, Josh was on from uh, Welch's. We were talking about kind of the secret path to, to make your way using back roads down, uh-huh. down Route 1. And, I mean, you're right there. So that's definitely... Um, it's a, it's a big deal. It's, it's, it's nice to be able to, to yeah. you know, hopscotch kind of down and run parallel to Route 1. It's huge. I mean, you have to think you're 4.2 miles, toes in the sand of Rehoboth, 4.8 toes in the sand at Lewis. Wow. So, so you, you're you literally are. almost yeah. directly in between, which is why we did the left versus right series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, you get to choose every day. You can have both beach towns. Well, and, and it's... They're completely different vibes too, which is which mm-hmm. awesome. You know, obviously, you yeah. know, for people that don't know, Rehoboth is very um, in season is much more vacation, much more beachy feeling. The boardwalk, fun land, the yep. t-shirt shops. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, and Lewis is more quaint fishing town. You know, old town fishing town with yep. little stores and you know boutiquey, you know, shopping and all of that. Yeah. So it's cool that you are like literally almost like kind of halfway between that, um, which I think, which is why Arbolin has been so successful. Yeah. Um, how how old you know launch was roughly four ish. It'll three-ish? be coming up on four years. Coming up on four years this summer, which is crazy to think. And we have twenty two sites left. 
Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> 22. So, so to that, yes. fir- first I'm going to pull up. I should have pulled this up before. Um, Google Maps here. And let's, let's kind of get a quick sky view. Not now. Okay. I'll tell you my favorite thing about the location. You're 0.6 miles from the best pomegranate margarita there is. <laughs> Which is? Agave. Agave, yes. Oh, yeah. So uh, Again, I, location. Yeah. Uh, we just, so Lewis Agave just opened up last week. Oh, good. And, yeah, and, That's awesome. And my daughter messaged both my wife and myself in the middle of the day that we have to make sure we get reservations. Well, you don't do reservations, but we're going on Friday. And we did. Aww. And it's it's so great. Yeah, we, we love it there. It's a I lot, love that. It's a lot of fun. Um, great food. And yes, it is. It's right around the corner because now they have the agave on Route One, which is yeah. And how far is it? Point six miles. Point six. So it is walkable. <laughs> yes, it is truly walkable. Definitely. So here we are, uh, right here. Yep. So this is Warrington Road, and as it goes down, when you cross over Twenty Four, it will actually change names into Plantations Road for people that know it by that. Or One mm-hmm. D is the other other word that, or signs that you'll see when you're navigating the area. And then if we kind of zoom out here, we are just located. Here's Route 1. So yep. Old Landing Road. So it's literally just off of Route 1. You make your right, and this is Arbor Limb. Yep. So if you were to come down either Old Landing Road or go down to 24, and this is where what you're basically you're saying, as we zoom out, you know, here's Rehoboth right here. Yep. And here's Lewis right here where we're sitting. So... It really is, you know. That's that's great, and again, two very different lifestyles and how you get to utilize. Um, and sometimes in different communities, you kind of commit in one way or the other. You kind of are. Yeah. It's true. And this it kind really of, is. You know, throws you throws you you know into that mix um, of having both. Now, the actual community itself, you were just talking about our number of home sites. Yes. Twenty two left. That's it. All right. So we have um, some. Landscaping that goes along the back here. So these are going to be exterior community home sites. Yeah. Um, all of them are going to be exterior community home sites. Yeah. What are you seeing um, average lot premiums right now? Five to 10,000. Wow. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're very low. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are basements an option? On every site. So all 22 of the remaining sites have basements. Okay. Yeah. Which takes... Um, the, the Coastal Cottage series is, is an awesome floor plan. It tends to be a little bit narrower and deeper. Yep. So when you get that basement, I mean, that's just a whole nother, you know. Whole, whole other nother, game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is awesome. Yes. Um, you know, current incentives in here are very similar to the other communities. You're looking at that 10,000 plus a 14.5. Like you got the, it. Yeah, like we find, you know, throughout other communities. Yeah. Um, which is... Um, you know, great. You can just kind of take, you know, and you can use the 14.5 as, you know, kind of use it as you want money. Flex, right. Yeah. So either off the cost of the home or towards closing costs. Okay. And we still split the transfer tax. So it's just whatever works better yeah. in, in their situation. Well, and that's that's huge because um, I think that's one of those, and I may have said it on one of the other podcasts, um, it's one of those incentives that I think that gets overlooked because mm-hmm. 2% of the final price of, of your home and average prices of homes in this community if you had to guess we're, we're kind of averaging out probably 850 okay so that's I would say. that's a substantial amount yeah. of money because a lot of builders are um this so delaware has a four percent transfer title tax mm-hmm. on the resale side on on typical not not doesn't have to be but typically yeah. the buyer pays half you know two percent and the seller pays two percent and in a lot in a lot of new construction um circumstances the builder will take that full 4% and put it on the buyer's shoulders. That's it's, typical. It's their ob- obligation. Yes. So you guys are splitting that similar to if it were a resale yep. of you guys are absorbing an additional 2% on top of your 24.5, which is, yep. you know, so now we're really, you know, depending on the price of the house, we're just, yeah, instead of it's, it's, it's really getting up there. So um, that's awesome. Really, really good to, to see that you guys are doing that. Amenity wise with the community, yeah. within the community, what are the, what are the amenities like? So we have a clubhouse and an outdoor pool. And that's it. The whole idea is smaller scale amenities with a big location. That's that's a great concept. We want low maintenance, right? So the HOA fee is $165 a month. That includes like lawn care. They're going to cut the grass, do the edging, seasonal cleanup. Okay. And use of your amenities. Wow. And that's it. So wait, I'm sorry. How much was it? $165. Wow. A month. Yeah. So, and I've been, hmm. So a lot of the communities I've been seeing 
some of the newer ones, not just with you guys, but in general, you know, not all of them are including lawn care now. Right. Which is to bring it down into that 150 price range. Right. So you guys are in that 150 price range with, with your lawn care and yes. everything. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's, that's really... Um, and I think that, that that's important, especially... Um, I, I don't know, you know, you would know better as to people that have been buying in this in this community. I know a lot of people that have reached out to me to talk about it. A yeah. lot of it has been secondary homes. Yeah. So when you're coming down to your secondary home, I mean, the last thing you want, the first thing to do is put, let me put on my work jeans and my sneakers and go out and cut the grass. Yeah, no, so, we're, we're relaxing. Yeah. We're at the beach. Yeah. So <laughs> you come in, your house looks beautiful. Um, you guys include irrigation. Yeah. Yeah. So Sod and irrigation. Yeah. So your lawn looks beautiful. It's cut by you know yeah. through your HOA. So mm-hmm. you just get to enjoy your house the whole time, which is which is awesome. Yeah. Um, of the floor plans, so obviously we've got let me see five, eight floor plans. Yes. What, what do you have you found has been probably one of the most popular floor plans that you've seen? I would say we're kind of torn between two right now. Okay. We're getting a ton of attention. Of course, the Iris, it's our model home. And what I've found is a lot of people love to purchase what they can see. Sure, yeah. So a lot of folks are going with the Iris. It's a great plan. I well, can see why anyway. Well, I was going to say, it's it's a really <laughs> yeah. um, it's a really pretty home. And, it's beautiful. And the, the layout is done extremely well. The yeah. loft is it's, it's open, but it doesn't feel like it's open. So I, I, yeah. get, I get why that would be you know a big one. Definitely. But the iris and I'd say the lilac. I was just going to ask. Right Absolutely. Yeah. That That's, is a, a, a favorite. Yeah. That's always kind of a home run, especially if you're looking for a two-story floor plan. Now the iris, iris is always is a standard two-story home. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Hmm, that's funny because a lot of times you'd see like maybe like a standard like a one story home where then then they add the loft. Mm-hmm. But so you're two you're you. I would say two right now are, are those homes. are the two top okay. for sure, and it, it's changed. You know when we first launched our Berlin, we had a lot of heather and orchids. We had more I'd say one level homes in certain sections. Sure. And then we started seeing the the larger two story homes. Well, and your original model was a Heather. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. Yep. Again, people people buy what they like to see and what they see. And, yep. and, and, I mean, you get to see space and size and you start to envision yourself living in the home. So that's also yeah. also why. So, no, the, the Iris is great. And, and honestly, you know, one of the first times I really got to explore the Iris was at your model. It was, is. Yeah, at Arbelin. And what's crazy, that is the first Iris model Shell Brothers has oh, really? ever had. Oh. Yeah. Well, that we makes, were really excited about yeah. it because it's a great plan. It's very popular, but nobody could ever get in it unless there was one under, under construction. Yeah, yeah. And so to have it as a model, it's just yeah. incredible. And what's cool also is that if someone is interested in a Bluebell, there's a Bluebell over at, at Peninsula Lakes or at, at, at the Peninsula. So yeah. someone can go if they're interested in that. There is a um, Bluebell. And there's a lilac down at at uh, Marlin Chase. Yeah. So we've got three of the offerings that you three of the eight and are I, our models. And the Hadley is going to Lightship Cove. Oh, you have that? Yes, true. Yeah. Okay. So there's that one also. Um, and then of course, when I have folks looking at other plants, my homeowners are so great. Oh, uh, that's true. They just bring a bottle of wine. Hey, can you let me in with some folks? You know, schedule in <laughs> yeah. advance, of course. Yeah. But yeah, I can typically get folks into any home. That's great. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's great. Yeah. And, you know, with with the home sites, because it is a little bit of a tighter community. Yep. You know, you know we, we know that. Um, but that's where these floor plans really kind of fit in fit in well. They do. But as you drive through, and I've done a driving tour in here, and I've, you know, again, like I said, I've had a lot of people call. Um, it's... Even though it, it, you know, the home sites are a little bit smaller, the elevation of the homes step up the look of the community as you're going through. It's really, it's done mm-hmm. very well, and the, the floor plans just are, your exterior elevations are, are so pretty. It really kind of sets the vibe in the community. I'm glad you think so. We do too. We love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's you know, and and I'm the thing is, you know, hey, my opinion, I guess maybe matters a little bit. But their opinion to me, you know, is is what's huge, and that was a common uh, thread that I've heard from from people calling, which is which is awesome. Yeah, um, that's that's awesome, and I think that uh, that the community with the offering, um, with all of those incentives, is great. Obviously, the location is fantastic. Um, what have you been finding people come in? What is one of the main reasons why they are looking at our Berlin compared to other communities, either with Shell mm-hmm. or outside of Shell? Location. 
Mm, Undoubtedly yeah. location. I have folks that, you know, know the area, know how busy it gets in the summer, and that even at Arbor Lynn, you're still not far. Yeah. You're very close. Yeah. And we're the only Rehoboth Beach community. So mm. for anybody that wants that 19971 zip, sure. we are, we're it. Sure. Um, so, but definitely location. Today's podcast is brought to you by Pools and Spas Unlimited of Milford. Elevate your backyard space with a custom designed pool, spa, patio, or outdoor kitchen. They are your one stop shop. Pools and Spas is family owned and operated and has enjoyed servicing the Delmarva Peninsula. Whether you're looking for a smaller pool just to cool off in or to design an entire backyard oasis, they have the experience and skills to bring your dreams to reality. Why not give them a call today to see what backyard sanctuary awaits you? Feel free to give them a call at 302-424-1999 or stop in their shop off Rehoboth Boulevard in Milford. They can't wait to meet you. Okay. That's what I'm hearing every single day. And that's where folks are like, you know what? I'll compromise on the spacing between the homes sure. because I need this location yeah. to get to the shops, the restaurants, the bars, the beaches, and not be dealing with all the other traffic that that you can hit yeah well i mean there 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 is and it's you know yeah. well and having the amenities in there because sometimes you know even if you're a you know you're coming down the you know a week or two out, out of the month or if it's your just a weekend you know secondary home it's nice to have even though it's not crazy amenities with you know wave pools and, yeah. and everything to, to be able to have the hangout place for all of your neighbors in which you know you know in our community we have this this corny term it's you know it's our tribe i but, love uh, that yeah Aww. we're like all oh, our tribe but yeah. you know you have this is your group this is like your, your crew that you hang out with to be able to go to the clubhouse and yep. hang out you know order some pizza or whatever and kind of sit yeah. around while it's maybe there's more traffic and then as things die down then everyone hops in their jeeps and goes drives on the beach because you can because you're around the corner from it so you said it yeah. that's exactly it yeah, yeah and i have to tell you the tribe at arborland is pretty phenomenal yeah. um we don't have the date set yet but we frank brooke and i we host one happy hour a month Every single month. Oh, cool. So what that does is it helps build up community. Yeah. So our homeowners are already good friends long before they're moving in. That's awesome. So on move-in day, it's, hey, you want to go grab a pizza and a beer? Or, yeah. You know, instead of saying, I'm so-and-so. Now, it just changes the whole dynamic. And I have to tell you, they are throwing so many of their own parties. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh I'm my sure. gosh, they are a hoot! Like well, everybody needs to come to our happy hour and meet my homeowners because they are phenomenal. It's something <laughs> like, about it's so great. It's that one nine seven seven one or what? One nine nine seven one. One nine nine seven one. Yeah. It's that that Rehoboth Beach Just zip code. Be yeah, happy. it's like the party party and have a good time, relax, and kind of kick back and. Um, we have too much fun at our hap. So I'm just saying, watch our Facebook page, the Arborlin at Shell Brothers. I will be announcing the March date coming up soon. Awesome. So now, yeah. is, is the clubhouse open? Is like, mm -hmm. or, so are they doing things at people's homes or is it at the clubhouse? Both. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. they've done different benefits, raising money for different diseases and things at their homes. They've done a lot of those kinds of events. That's cool. Um, just at a Super Bowl Sunday party at the clubhouse. Typically do That's a Memorial awesome. Day. And then like Frank and I are, and Brooke now, who's joined us, we're doing them once a month. That's which great. is also great for people looking. Well, <laughs> that, that that was my that was my question to you. Yeah. I, I had a, a client who just signed a contract at um, Haley's Glen. Awesome. And they just happened. Uh, we've been looking at some resales and maybe talking about some potentially building. And they happened to come down while I was overseas. And they drove through Haley's Glen. And there were all these cars out in front of the model. And so they walked in, and it yeah. was one of those like just homeowner happy, hours. happy hour yeah. things kind of going on. And they ended up, you know, buying a home next to these people that they just met that were like these. They lived in similar areas, you know, you know, prior to the other yeah. people moving down here. And they just hit it off, and they're like, "We're going to build a home next to you." And they're like, "This is great." And so it's. I think that for people that are are interested in mm -hmm. a in a community, rather than kind of taking or if they have a question of what is it like living there. You know, there are also certain questions that you and I are legally allowed to answer and certain questions that we legally are not allowed Thank to answer. Thank you. Yep, just exactly. Go to the party. Number one, just go to the party because why not? Go to the party and have Drink a good time. Drink Frank's beer, yeah. please. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the two blokes. <laughs> yes. Go, go hang out, have a good time, but talk to the people that live there and what is life like on Tuesday, you know, type, type, type of scenario. What do you do, yeah. you know? And I think it's great for folks, even if you're not looking specifically at Arbor Lynn, 
come and meet the people that yeah. are going through the process you're about to go through. Yep. I mean, it's great. Why not? What's yeah. the worst that could happen? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, and the, and the you make a friend. Look, yeah. if they scare you. I don't think they will. Um, you can leave. There's the door. Yeah. But come try it on. Why? Why not? Yeah. No. It's, it's a. It's a great thing. And I was actually talking to my team like after that happened mm-hmm. you know, with with my clients. I was like, I think we need to get a calendar together of all of these happy hours that are going around in communities for our clients to be able to say, Hey, I'm looking at X, Y, and Z yeah. communities. Let me, you know, I'll mark off my my schedule to come down those days to yeah. for it. And again. Yeah, have a good time. Come party with Enjoy us. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> you know, maybe you're like party hopping. You know, th- you know that that weekend. But that'd you know, be a good that'd be a good uh, event. Yeah, and you can go down, look at the home sites, and then talk to talk to people. And I I always encourage my clients just to walk the streets anyway. People are walking their dog and just talk to them. But you know, you know, take it one step farther and go to these happy hours. Yeah. Because I think sometimes if they hear about it, they think that this is for people that are living there or have signed. And that's not the and case. It's not. No. Know. We want our homeowners to come, of course, to thank them and to have a good time and to better get to know them. Because again, yeah. it's not just about selling homes. We're yep. building communities. Sure. It changes lives. It's so incredible. Yeah. Yeah. No. And, and I think that point is um, extremely well well taken. And it is. It's um, if you're coming down here and you're talking with, you know, an agent or you're talking to a salesperson or whatever, and you're just talking about bedrooms and bathrooms, you're missing the point. You're it's miss, not you're about missing that. What coastal Delaware is all about. Yeah. And it's funny. I tell my clients all the time, if you're looking for a really well built, inexpensive home. There's some builders in North Dakota and South Dakota that may be some options that you can get really well. But you're moving here for everything other than your house. Ironically, it's for this lifestyle. Yeah. So we need to talk about lifestyle first and have that fit and then work into that yep. build, builder community floor plan, kind of work backwards Absolutely. from it. Because this that's what's so great about here. Yes, we have great cheap taxes and everything. But this is a beach town. It's a resort area, and we want to kind of kind of fit into that. So that's that's yep. all all big stuff. And I think that um, you guys obviously are firing all cylinders when it comes to kind of hammering that point home, also, yeah. and helping clients find the right home site even within the community Absolutely. because because that's part of it. And then selecting options of their home, you know, yeah. outdoor living spaces, and you know, how should we you know put, you know allocate funds accordingly? And yeah, kind of how are we going to live in the home, right? Because like you sure. said, it's not about bedrooms and bathrooms. Yeah. that is actually one of the last things I talk about. Yeah, what I like to talk about are what are your hobbies? Sure. How do you live in the home? Yeah, you know, does your husband watch TV too loud, and you want to? I don't know. You need a separate space, or I want to know how you live in the, in the home. Yeah. And then we can match, make you to the best plan, the best site that's going to make you the happiest at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's some people, they just, maybe they don't care as much about the outdoor space of their home. They're worried yeah. about going to the state park and hiking and everything. And that's, yeah. you know, so maybe that's an op- opportunity to save money by go, by going to other other home sites and mm-hmm. yeah, it is. And I think that it's, it's the thoughtfulness of, of listening, you know, in, um, I think it was uh, with Josh and Molly. There was this um, part of the podcast where I said there's a difference between hearing, listening, and hearing. You know, you can just hear what someone says, but by listening, we're actually truly listening and asking the questions and kind of going yeah. through that process. And I think that's key. I think some people um, speak and are just waiting for the next opportunity to speak again and forget to listen to what the client is is saying and digest it and apply it to now yeah. the process. And I think you guys do an excellent job of that. So I'm glad it's something yeah. I know for me personally, I had to work on. Cause I do love to talk. But then one time my dad told me, Allie, you've got two ears and one mouth for a reason. And I'm like, oh, listen twice as much as I speak. Got it. Okay. <laughs> that's that's uh, yeah. very good advice. Yeah. And, and, uh, um, and of which, you know, cheap plug, you know, if you are buying one of these homes and you're looking to build a pool, oh, I, snap. We, we know someone that, that does, you know, beautiful, you know, pools. So absolutely. Yeah. And the name of it is. Oh, Pools and Spas Unlimited of Milford? Yes, yeah. of, of Milford. So. Little plug. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that never hurts. So, yeah, I, that's great. And I think that, you know, for anyone that is, um, so again, so starting price point, you know, I mean, we could say aver- yeah, we're in a- the, advertised price point. We start point in like average. the mid sixes, in okay. the sixes. You know what I mean? Yeah. With incentives. Um, and then it just really depends on what they want to do. Sure. I have folks that can get in there just over seven. 
you know, okay. with with minimal personalizations. Yeah. Or you can blow it out of the water, full finished basement, wet bar, bedroom, all kinds of stuff, and and you know, be over nine fifty. Yeah. So it just depends. We but we've got it all, which is pretty great. So if location matters, if this is in your price point, this is definitely one. You know, I always use the analogy: we're trying on pairs of jeans, and you know when the right pair fits. This yes. is one to try on. I think that sometimes, because it's kind of tucked back off of Warrington, kind of in that old landing Warrington. Well, not at, right there. Yeah, which is also nice from a privacy standpoint, but I think mm -hmm. it, it might get overlooked sometimes or forgotten about. So this yeah. is one that you should definitely try on if that's if you're looking for that, you know, that type of community, that type of lifestyle and living. Yep. Um, you know, you know, you know, that's definitely one to one to consider for sure. And it's for people that are looking full time, part time or rental or investment. Okay. We're seeing all three types of folks come in. And it's funny, when I launched, I thought we were going to have all part-timers. Sure. That's what I thought. Yeah. I am eating humble pie. <laughs> wow. Okay. We, yeah. So it's you would be surprised at who's in there full-time. It's pretty amazing. On the investment side, since you mm -hmm. brought that up, what yeah. is kind of policy for that as far as with you know, HOA-wise? Yeah. So it's a minimum of seven days, Okay. Saturday to Saturday, no more than 12 rentees within the home at a given time. Okay. So it's like three families. You mean in the home? Yeah. Oh, so, gotcha. Okay. Like if you're yeah, renting yeah, yeah. out your home, they, yeah. they limit it to 12 people within. So you can't pack it with like, like 30 people. 40 people. people. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. they're not doing that. Maybe for a dinner, right? Dinner party. Yeah, but. yeah. <laughs> so, so which, but that's good because it allows for good investment, but allows the people that, oh, are, yeah. that are living there to not have this like Airbnb one night stay kind of no. turnaround type of stuff. It's, exactly. It's true, like, like one week rental type, type stuff, which yes. is good for both sides. And you know, I, I really think that it satisfies yeah. you know you know both parties i have a lot of folks that purchase this kind of second home with just liking the idea that hey if we ever wanted to rent it we could sure you know just that that potential yeah mm -hmm. and or we know that with real or with new construction especially the prices don't ever go down they were always you know, correct you know, go forward yeah. so if you know that maybe you're, you plan to retire in the next couple of years you can build now Mm -hmm. rent it to, you know, offset a lot of your expenses and then, yep. you know, and then you know, they're paying off some of your equity and then move in once you retire. So, yep. you know, kind of get in now, make some money and then, you know, have, have, have that handled. So that's great. I think that it's a, it's a realistic solution for a lot of people. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of red on this map. Yes. Um, so a lot of people have bought their um, awesome location, great builder, Great salespeople. So, We're fun. Yeah. We yeah, have a good time. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> it's, it's a good time for sure. Um, and uh, and then hopefully soon we'll, we can have you back on again with Frank. Yes. And we'll talk some, some Miralon, which is a Milton community. I'm excited for yeah. that too. That little little teaser out there for everybody Ooh, that's watching. Stay you know, tuned. Yeah, yeah, we'll have some some Miralon, you know, discussions, which is um courtyard series homes at those wire yes. homes. So Yeah. Awesome. Definitely. Allie, thank you so much for coming on. Um I know this is a little bit of a short one, but I really wanted to make sure we, we got this out there because I think it's a great opportunity for a lot of people. So. And it won't be around long. I mean twenty two left. Be, yeah. Like we're this is yeah, that's crazy. Cu cu couple this is my months. baby right here. Yeah. You know, I've been there the whole time. Oh, oh did, did you? Were you there with with Frank and, and Josh in the beginning? I've, been, oh, wow. I've missed like the first week, oh. and then I was brought in. So, so you, I count it as I've been there the whole time. Yes, I, that's okay. I was in the trailer when it was all dirt, and you know, <laughs> left left. I forget, left we're, we're, for Lewis. Were you Lewis or, or I'm Hobbit? Lewis? You're Lewis. Okay, yeah. good. That's the good one. The good. So. I was gonna say the good one. <laughs> it goes right. <laughs> awesome, Allie. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for Let's, having me, Corey. Uh, you know, if any questions, obviously, we'll we'll get people you know yeah. in, in there as as quickly as we can. We're here to help. All right. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, bye. See ya. Thanks again for tuning in to this episode of Who's in the House. If you still have questions, feel free to email us at info at who's in the house, D E as in Delaware.com. You can also call or text any questions to 302 466 5511. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. And in the meantime, keep an eye out for our next episodes. We look forward to seeing you then. Have a great day.